One of O.J. Simpson's statements during his successful parole hearing yesterday is drawing a lot of criticism. I've basically it's been a conflict-free life. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not a guy that ever got into fights on the street and uh, with the public and everybody. I'm not a guy who lived a criminal life. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a pretty straight shooter. Simpson will soon be released after nine years of a 33-year sentence for armed robbery and kidnapping. It's been nearly 22 years since a jury found Simpson not guilty of murdering his wife, his ex-wife, Nicole Simpson, and her friend, Ron Goldman. The trial captivated the nation and left the victims' families feeling that they did not get justice. Later, Simpson was found liable for the two deaths in a multi-million dollar civil suit. With us now, first on CBS This Morning, are Ron Goldman's father, Fred Goldman, and sister, Kim Goldman. She is the author of Can't Forgive, My 20-Year Battle with O.J. Simpson. This is their first interview since Simpson was granted parole. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to both of you. Um, he served nine years for a 33-year sentence. Is this one more example of O.J. Simpson getting away with it? For me? The answer is yes, but then obviously we're a little biased. Mm -hmm. um, I'm troubled that uh, he's out free, uh, getting a second chance, something that Ron didn't get. Um, I would prefer to see him back in jail. Uh, simple as that. Uh, I don't think he is worthy of uh, the right to be out amongst decent people. Kim, you watched that parole board hearing and conversation. What would you want to say to the members of the parole board? Um, it was eye-opening to me to have a, a bird's eye view into what was going on in the parole system. Um, I wonder if that's how it always is across the country. They talk a lot about it being this is a very typical hearing. I want you to know that you're getting the benefit of what we always do here. And then they went on to not press him, not ask follow-up questions, wear an inappropriate NFL tie as a parole board member, um, not really ask him about what he would do once he's out. Will you reoffend? What is your... Uh, you know, risk to public safety. Um, I was really alarmed that that wasn't really taken into consideration and that maybe their questions were answered before the hearing even happened. And so mm -hmm. just wonder if that's how it always is. He, we played the clip there. I mean, he stated that he's lived a conflict free life. Right. Conflict free, except for the wife beating of his first wife, Nicole, um, various altercations over the year with various people. Um, I mean, his first run-in with the law was when he was 16 years old. Right. He's well, hardly conflict-free. And you can't ignore the fact that he was held responsible in a civil court for killing Ron and Nicole. Even though that wasn't a criminal case, he was still held responsible for doing that. We proved those crimes were committed. And he was ordered to pay more than $20 million. How much of that money have you seen? Less than 1%. Less than 1%. No. So less than a million dollars. Oh, yeah. And Far less. Judgment as of today is just and, under $60 million. And honestly, he's never physically paid anything. We've taken things from him, but he's never willingly paid a penny. You are, I know you're, you're interested in going after more of that money now. What, what will you do? What do you think you can do? Well, we're going to do exactly what we did previously, you know, in hopes that he will continue to look over his shoulder and worry about whether we're going to take what from him, just like he did. Um, that ultimately, I, we think, caused him to go in Vegas and take his stuff back. You and because you can't take the pension money. No. Yeah, it's protected. Which is twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars a month. Yeah. What What can you take? Anything that he earns, uh, anything that uh, comes his way. Now, you know, as an example, he he authored that book. If I did it years ago, uh, we took that the book rights away from him. Um, but I want to make the point, not to interrupt you, Dad, that it, it's not everyone likes to focus on the dollar amount. It's really for us about punishment and holding him responsible. Right. That's what the system affords to us. That's what it gives other victims and survivors. And I really encourage people that if you have your judgment, if you have the, act, the opportunity to pursue justice, that that's what you do. And it doesn't always work to your benefit. But, I mean, that's what... He gets the benefit of it. Why shouldn't victims and survivors? You, in some way, were able to move on with your life when he was behind bars and not in front of cameras. I wanted to get your reaction to something he said yesterday. He said, I might look at being involved with the media. 
what would your reaction be if he were to make an appearance on television, if he were to be part of, of a reality series, what have you? Well, I think that's part of been, you know, what we've been so anxious about um, with his release is that we know that he garners a tremendous amount of attention. And now with social media being what it is and the ability to take pictures and video everywhere you go, um, I don't... Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he popped up as often as he could. Um, he loves the attention. He loves to be in the spotlight. Um, we just have to hunker down and prepare for that, too. Incarceration is, is about punishment, but it's also about rehabilitation. Do you believe that he is the same man or that he's been rehabilitated? Oh, I believe without a doubt he's the same person. I think he showed it clearly during the uh, parole hearings, uh, his snickering about things, the the arrogant looks when, when they were reading things, uh, the way he snapped at one of the uh, commissioners on the parole uh, board when he said, I don't recall what it was he said, he snapped at him. Um, I think he is exactly who he always is. Cool. Well, we commend you for keeping your son and your brother's memory alive. He would be 49 years old. We appreciate you joining us. Thank Fred you. And Thank, Goldman. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.